Peace, Kings and Curlies. I'm just Jackie is here again, and I'm just playing catch up with some videos. Um, yeah, I just want to come back to you real quick and share with you this event that I just went to um, this past weekend uh, called uh, Shop and Sip, and it was hosted by um, Shop Runway Couture. Um, the owner, Miss Chrissy, uh, she put on a lovely, lovely event. It was in Richmond, Virginia. So I'm here in Virginia Beach, Virginia, you know, Hampton Roads area, whatever. And it was about an hour and 45 minute drive. But it was well, well worth uh, my time because, one, I actually got to meet Miss Melanie Jones from I Rock Natural. You know, we did that collab giveaway together, but we never got a chance to meet. So uh, I did meet Miss Melanie. Hi, Melanie. It was so awesome to meet you and can't wait to hang out with you uh, again. Um... And spend some more money on your product. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so I had an awesome time at this event. It's called Shop and Sip. So basically, it was held at a nice venue. Um, it wasn't Brick House Grill. Um, I want to say maybe Brickstone. Oh, don't quote me on it, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, give me one second here. Let me just see if I can find it. Okay, yeah, it was Brickstone grill in richmond virginia and um yeah it was a nice venue uh not exactly sure if it's a restaurant slash uh uh night scene like you know where late at night you know they kind of like move the tables and make a dance floor or whatever but it, either or it was a it was a nice uh venue uh to have this event and it had some really really great vendors there um and everybody has something different going on. It wasn't like, okay, you had, uh, yeah, you had a, a few jewelry uh, accessory tables, but it wasn't the same stuff. Everybody had something different going on. Everybody had their own niche. They even had stuff for, uh, pers you know, personal whatever or business uh, affairs, you know, uh, just giving people good advice about their future, saving, 401ks, uh, investments, whatever. So, they had they had like a variety of uh, different things going on there. So it wasn't all about just going there shopping and spending your money. You learned some stuff there too from uh, different vendors. They had Mary Kay vendors. They had Avon vendors. They had just um, vendors with a different range. Um, anywhere from you know accessories to body creams, uh, t-shirts, uh, tea, whatever. Um, handbags. They had. I think they had like everything covered. I don't even if they had somebody there with shoes, I ain't see them. But hey, what can I say? I believe they had everything covered from pretty much head to toe because they had clothes there. It, it, it was nice. And while you're shopping, you get to sip on, you know, whatever. You know, they had a nice bar there for you to sip on, and they had a a nice little spread and everything. So even though I got lost trying to find a place, I did make it there, and I had an awesome time. And I must say, I have been to a few uh, events uh, for naturals and stuff. And by far, this is excluding the World Natural Hair Show, by the way. That's something on a whole nother level. By far, this was the best event that I have participated in, that I have been there you know to support support whatever vendors and small businesses that are there um the atmosphere was awesome you know people were friendly people were talking and i went by myself you know and i did not feel like i was by myself everybody was cool everybody was talking it, it was just nice and that was the first time I've really seen that. Now, a few other events that I've gone to, it's like if you ain't go with anybody, you was just lost. You felt alone. Nobody was socializing. They was only talking to the people who they came with. I'm just like, we're supposed to be at this big event for naturals or whatever, and you're not even communicating with anybody else to whatever. Just ask them, hey, how long you been natural? Or, well, what do you do to your hair? Blah. Well, I try this. Or, have you ever tried? None of that. What? so anywho that's a whole nother topic but yeah i i just say that because i thoroughly enjoyed myself at this event and yes of course you know i went there and i spent some money all right so i just want to share with you guys real quick the few things that i did pick up at this event so first things first this company is called 
let's see, MPO Creations Scented Shea Butter Products. Okay, um, vendor uh, was awesome, very informative, and I'll post all their info at the bottom because I know sometimes it's hard to see these cards. And um, um, the co the CEO owner is Nina Owens, and um, yeah, she had natural products there, all natural. And let me tell you what I picked up. I want to say this is probably like uh, the best thing I picked up at the show. This is an all natural uh, deodorant, NPO Creations, and it's patchouli, and patchouli is a uh, essential oil. Okay, so the ingredients are. Shea butter, beeswax, cocoa butter, vitamin E, and patchouli essential oils. Okay, the beeswax, cocoa butter, vitamin E, and patchouli essential oils. Okay, this. I want to say I paid 5 or $6 for it, but I'm going to tell you what. It ain't a whole lot, but I'm, you're getting your money's worth out of it. This is all natural. I'm going to tell you right now. I, I'm not a odory person like that but you know i do do hard work and sometimes i perspire and sweat or whatever and i put on my you know degree deodorant and even though i have that degree on sometimes i can get a little okay after a long 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 hard days of work let me tell you something i've been using this stuff since i bought it mm -mm. even after a long hard days of work all I smell is this fresh patchouli. It smells heavenly. I'm trying to tell you. And for real, the scent is so awesome. I swear you ain't got to wear no perfume with it. Because it just, it's just a nice, strong, not overpowering, but, you know, strong enough scent that, you know, if you walk up past somebody, they can, you know, smell it. So, boom. Shout out to NPO. Loving this uh, natural deodorant. Y'all need to um really, really check it out. They have, like, two other... Uh, sits there too can't think of it but if you go on their website I, i'll post their stuff at the info check it out and uh for purchasing the, the deodorant she just threw in a nice little sample of this leave-in hair conditioner and lock hair cream so you know you wash your hair apply the apply cream to scalp and hair um and go from there leave-in style yeah so cool i i haven't even smelled it let me smell it Ooh, it smells good. I can't tell you what that scent is. It kind of got like a little minty scent in it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I thought that was awesome. And then next, I picked up this. Looking for the business card that goes with it. Ah, I can't find it. But it was a mother-daughter team. And the mother was selling... There's mo the, the moisturizing lotions and body oils. And the daughter was selling like accessories and stuff. But I picked up this uh, moisturizing. Y'all see it? Moisturizing uh, lotion. It's called Strawberry Milkshake Shea Butter Moisturizing Lotion. This stuff smells so good. And it feels so good on your skin. Really good. And, uh, and I also picked up the matching oil scent that goes with it. It is freaking heavenly, okay? So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what well, a daughter's boutique is called Polished. And, uh, yeah, but she sells her mother's uh, product in her shop. So, yeah, I'll post, like I said, I'll post that info at the bottom. So, that was another thing that I caught. And let me see. And this company is called... Diva Fashion Collections. The owner is Felicia. And let me tell you what. Her table was laid out, fried, dyed, laid to the side. She had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of goodies. I will be going to her website and checking out some things on the website. But for now, what I picked up at the show was this bracelet. Y'all know yellow is my favorite color. She had a pink one there too. And y'all know I love me some pink. So decisions, decisions, decisions. But... You know, because I don't want to spread my love to other people. So, I ain't want to just, like, spend money at one table. But, look at this. Dope. See the little bling in the charms? I love it. Little button-up bracelet. And, you know, if I need to tighten it, there's one more hole there. But, I believe that would be too tight. But, yeah. So, got the snaps. I love it. 
Love, love, love. Yeah. So check her out because she had a lot of great um, other bracelets, earrings, necklaces, whatever. Um, just check her out. Diva Fashion Collection. Okay? So info will be at the bottom. And then, let me see. Let me tell you about this because I'm about to eat this. I, I had to save the last one till I did this video. This company is called Bite Size Heaven. And uh, they will ship, you know, they're based in, uh, I, think, I think they're based in Richmond if I am mistaken. But anyway, but they do ship Bite Size Heaven. Specializing in custom cake pops, cupcakes, and chocolate covered treats. Look at this cake pop. I had five of them. They had the vanilla. This one's chocolate. And they also had a flavor. I don't know what to call it. Maybe an orange sherbet. But y'all remember that ice cream when you were little kids and it had the orange uh, sherbet. And in the center it had that nice vanilla uh, ice cream in it. It tastes just like that. It was the bomb. Check this out. This cake pop. Girl, y'all just don't know. And yes, I'm going to bite into it right on this camera. But this is how good this stuff is. I will just order some of these cake pops. And they, they had the cupcakes there, but I didn't get any of them. But they had um like a turtle cupcake. They had a pink Moscato. They had red velvet. Let me tell you something. Cake pop. I'm biting it. I want y'all to see it. This chocolate cake is so good. But at the same time, it's so rich. Bomb. Y'all understand. The vanilla is good, too. The vanilla. I ain't got it to show it to you because I already ate it. <laughs> but, bomb. Bite size heaven. Boom. Check them out. And, of course, even though I was late, I got there on time. Because, you know, they, have, they were doing raffles. So, when I walked in, the lady gave me my raffle ticket. And I said about 10 minutes there, he did another giveaway. And I and the giveaway was for a $25 gift certificate for I Rock Natural. And I guess some people had already left already because he was calling numbers and nobody was claiming. He calls this number, blah, 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 429. That was me. So Jackie won the $25 gift certificate for my homegirl's uh, shop. I rock natural. So, of course, her booth is there. You know what Jackie did? After I got my little eat on, I got my, started getting my shop on and um, made my stop at her table. So, even though I had a budget, I had 25 extra more dollars to go with my budget to get more stuff from I rock natural. So, <sighs> I rock natural. Hello. Let me tell you something. If y'all remember my small business spotlight feature on I rock natural, I Rock Natural has grown considerably since my feature. And, um, yeah. Bomb. That's all I can say. Check this out, y'all. She has some fresh new earrings that I'm going to share with y'all real quick. If you don't know, I love hearts. Remember that. Look at this. So cute. And, uh, yes, she had posted them on Instagram. And I told her I wanted those things. And luckily, they were still there at the show by the time I got there. Look at that. That is so cute. Yeah. So she got those heart earrings. I mean, she got a lot of new stuff, y'all. Y'all need to go back to I Rock Natural and check out her new stuff. She got new earrings, some necklaces, a matchet and stuff. She just, she blowing up right now. And then check this out. I love me some button earrings. Y'all know I got the black eye rock natural button earrings. But she had these there. Look at this color. And I thought it was so cute how she has it on her business card. See? Yeah. So, eye rock natural is doing... Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. Look at this. Then look at the back. Even the back is covered. That's the first time I have seen that. And a pair of button earrings. The front and the inside is, is covered. Nice touch, Melanie. Thumbs up, girl. Check it out. Look at the button earrings. I love button earrings. Mm. You guys will learn. 
you guys will learn. If I don't have nothing else, give me a pair of earrings and some lip gloss, and I'm happy. If, if I could pick two things, a pair of earrings and a lip gloss, and I'm happy. If I could pick three things, a pair of earrings, a lip gloss, and a head wrap, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. So, yeah, boom, fly. I about to say something. Fly earrings, okay? So, yeah, summertime, y'all. It's time to rack up on my tees. So, here I go with I Rock Natural. $25 gift certificate and, and a budget. So, yeah, had to come back and do my tees. Start back up on my tees and stuff. It's summertime. And check it. I'm going to show you the tees I caught from I Rock Natural. So, this is her main logo. It says... I rock natural and you know regular tank top see and love it can't wait to rock it matches my um button I rock natural earrings that I already picked up um, from I rock natural then I got this baby blue look and it's a razor back got this baby blue razor back and it says embracing and loving my curls naturally so yeah this is gonna be fly can't wait to rock that oh excuse me i got choked up on it <laughs> and then y'all know i love my white tee my white tee look so i got my nap star on ain't this cute look at that silhouette i love it love it love it love it and this one's also a razor bag yay and then, last but definitely not least, got me another Napstar Razorback. And I like this. This is so fly. And, you know, it matches the heart-shaped earrings I just picked up. So, I like to coordinate people. So, yeah, those are the goodies that I got from the Shop and Sip. And, yes, I had a bomb time. And it was awesome meeting um, Melanie for the first time. I can't wait to um, hang out with her again. They are going to be having another um, Shop and Sip in June. And I want to say it's June 22nd. But, yeah, uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. And uh, keep you posted. So, maybe if you guys are in the area, you know, y'all can uh, check that shop and sip out too because it's supposed to be a little bit bigger than the one um that they just had over the past weekend so i'm looking forward to uh checking that one out and yeah so until next time kinks and curlies i'm just jackie is out peace